this video, I want to share with you how you can use Gumroad to sell your first online course so you can start monetizing your knowledge and skills. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I teach new and aspiring entrepreneurs how to use online business tools to help you create and sell digital products. One of those types of digital products is an online course. Online courses are a great way for you to share your knowledge and expertise that you have learned over the years to provide value to someone else and you get to monetize your information. One of the major challenges to getting started with selling online courses is the technology. Like some questions that you may have asked yourself, like where do I even host my course? How does my customers access the content? There are a lot of course platforms out there. Some are very expensive and some are complicated to learn. The simple solution that I like to recommend to anyone that is just getting started with selling online courses is Gumroad. Gumroad is a simple e-commerce platform where you can sell digital products and online courses. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer screen so I can show you exactly how you can get started selling your first online course with Gumroad. To get started with Gumroad, all you need to do is sign up for a free account using a valid email address. I will leave a link down below in the description box so you can sign up for a free account with Gumroad. After you've created your account, you want to access your Gumroad dashboard. So you click on dashboard and it brings you to your Gumroad dashboard. You want to go to the left hand menu and you want to select products. Next, you add some details about your online course. You add your title. You select the type of product. So since we're doing a course, we want to make sure that course or tutorial is selected. Scroll to the bottom, add your price. Scroll back to the top and we're going to click next to customize. This is going to bring us to our product detail page and this is where we will build your Gumroad sales page for your online course. Now, I just want to point out you're going to see two panels. The left hand panel is where you will add the information and then the panel on the right is a preview of the information that you add. So you can see it starts with the name of your course. If you chose to change the name, you can do that here. Next, you want to add a description. You want to just add a brief description about your course and probably add some benefits about your course that will make your customer want to purchase the course. This next area is your Gumroad URL. You can add the name of your course to the end of the URL to make it a little bit more unique. You can copy this to a clipboard and you can share this URL anywhere that you want to promote your online course. This next area is where you will add a cover photo for your sales page. It suggests that your cover photo is a minimum of 1280 by 720. You can use a free tool like Canva to create your cover photo. I've already done that, so let me go ahead and upload an image. And once you upload your image, you will see how that looks over on the right hand panel preview. Next, you're going to add a thumbnail image. This image is going to appear on your Gumroad profile page, which also acts as your Gumroad digital shop page. This image size has to be at least 600 by 600. If you are using Canva to create your images, you can use the Instagram square template to create your thumbnail. Next, we're going to add some product information. This first section asks us to select a call to action. Gumroad does give you a few call to actions that you can choose from. I usually just keep it on the first one. This next area is a summary. So you can just give a brief description of what they will receive within the online course. So if you have a couple of modules and a workbook or some downloads, you can add that information here. So I'm just going to just type it in so you can see what that looks like. And over here, you will see the summary of the online course or of your product that you're adding. Next, you can add some additional details. That's optional. You don't have to add that, but it is there for you to do that. This next area is integration area. So if you have a community with circle community or you have a community within a discord server, you can integrate that into your online course. Next is pricing. So if you wanted to change the price from what you initially added, you can select that here. You can also choose to allow the customers to pay what they want. So if you are doing this for a charity event or some type of promotion and you just want to collect some type of donation, this is a good option to do that. Or if you are running a sale and you still want the customers to probably provide some type of compensation to you, you can use this option. This next area is for you to add a version of your online course. 
So this could be great for if you have some type of bundle. So if you have another course that you wanted to add and bundle it together, or if you have some bonus content that you wanted to add, you can use this option. So I'm going to click add version. So I'm going to call it bonus content. You add a name, add a description, and then you add an additional amount. So this is an additional amount on top of the price that you've already added. So I add 100, then this price will be $100 more than what we've already added. This next area is a few settings options available to you. The first one is the limit product sales. So if you are doing a sale or if this is gonna be a limited time offer, you can use that option. The next one is to allow customers to choose a quantity. Because it's an online course, that option is not relevant. You can publicly show the number of sales that your product has sold. You can generate a license key. Again, this is not relevant to online courses. It's more if you have some type of software. And then you can mark this product as e-publication for VAT purposes. And that depends on where you are located. You may want to turn that on. So once you've added all of your product details and you're satisfied with everything, you want to make sure that you hit save changes. Next, we're going to add our content, and you can do that by selecting the tab that says content. Now, currently, Gumroad is updating their software, and they have a, a content editor that is currently in beta. But for this tutorial purposes, I'm actually going to turn this off. This is where you will upload your videos or your PDFs for your online course. So let me go ahead and upload those files so I can show you what that looks like. After you've uploaded your content, you can move it around if you want it to appear in a particular order. So next, I'm going to show you how to edit some details of your content. You want to click on a down arrow button. If you want to change the name, you can change the name to whatever you want to change it to. You can add a description. If it's a video, you can add subtitles. This next option I think is super dope. It allows you to disable file downloads and this means that the customer can only stream your video on the Gumroad platform. They are not allowed to download your video content and this is great for making sure or helping to deter people from downloading your content and sharing your content uh, without permission. So let me show you the options available if you uploaded a PDF. So again, we're going to click the down arrow. As you can see, it's the same option to change the name or description. So this next option is to stamp the PDF with the buyer's information. And this will appear on the first page and it will have the buyer's email address. This just is a way to deter people from sharing content that, that they didn't have permission to share. So once you're done, you can minimize these just by clicking back on that arrow. This next option I wanted to show you is to add a folder. You can create a folder as a way to organize your content within your course. Once you are done uploading your content and adding the details, you wanna make sure you hit save changes. And next we're gonna edit the checkout page. So click on checkout. So you can add a discount code. So this is great for if you are running any type of promotions or sales campaigns, you can create a discount code and share that discount code with your audience. If you add a discount code, you can add a discount code field option to the purchase form. So next, let's go over the purchase form. So again, because this is a course and it's a digital product, shipping information is not required, so we can skip that option. The next option is some additional details. I, again, I usually leave this option blank because it's not relevant because it is a digital product. Next is the receipt, and this is what your customer will see once they made a purchase. As you can see, they have a little success message and they have a button. This button automatically has the option to view content. That can be your call to action. You can leave that blank. Or if you wanted to add a different type of call to action, you can add that here. And this is what it will appear on their receipt. And they also receive an email with this receipt. Now that we're all done, the next thing you want to do is publish your course. So you want to hit publish. Once you publish your course, you'll be able to access the share features. And here are a few options for you to share your course. You can share via Twitter or Facebook. Again, you can copy that URL that you created in the beginning. If you have a website, you can use these embed options to embed Gumroad to your website. You can have an overlay and it looks like this. Or you can embed it as a page and this is what it will look like. You just want to make sure that you copy this code and embed it into your website. This next option is called Gumroad Discover. It's like Gumroad's Marketplace. 
this is optional and there are a few requirements to get approved to be a part of gumroad discover so basically what this is you can be on the gumroad marketplace for people to search for your product but my recommendation is to make sure that you use one of these top options to share and promote your online course now the last thing that you want to do is test out the checkout process and see what this looks like so you want to go back to the checkout page and you want to click on add a discount and let's add test and we're going to actually change it to percentage to have 100% off and that means it's going to be zero dollars and you want to hit save then you want to click on the share button you want to copy this link at the top open an incognito window paste that url that you just copied and this shows that it is zero percent or zero dollars and you want to click on the call to action that you selected and you hit i want this and you add your email information select get and you see the checkout message your purchase was successful and then we'll email you the pdf shortly if you have a if the person doesn't have a gumroad account it will prompt them to create a gumroad account so now let me access my email so i can show you what that looks like so this is the email that the customer will receive and then they can click on access course content or whatever call to action button that you created and this is what it looks like once the customer accesses your course you have the module and they can just click watch and they can watch the directly from the page hey boss friends if you see a transcoding message that's just gonna roll processing your video content for viewing so that's no issue then next you have the pdf and you can choose to download it and let me show you what that looks like and this is the pdf stamp that the customer will see it will show who it was sold to and the gumroad logo so that's how that works and from here the customer can provide a rating they can view their receipt we send their receipt to them and then they also can access this product from anywhere by adding it to their gumroad library Okay, boss friends, as you can see, Gumroad makes it super easy for you to set up your first online course so you can start making money selling your information. Don't forget to check the description box for the link to create your free account with Gumroad. And make sure that you are subscribed because in next week's video, I'm going to teach you how you can easily design your course presentation using Canva. You don't want to miss it. Until then, check out this video on your screen. And thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.